Another new test kit could give an indication of lung health in just 30 seconds. Developers are touting it as a cheap preliminary diagnostic tool for COVID-19. They say it can check lung condition and screen for the first signs of the coronavirus long before the patient shows any symptoms. The device has a permit application pending, and developers at National Taiwan University's College of Medicine hope it will be rolled out across the country soon. They say it can even be used at airports as a fast screening for travelers entering the country. Two devices rather like earmuffs are placed on the sides of the abdomen. Within 30 seconds, data on the person's lung quality comes on screen. A continuous reading of six indices of lung health, including a measure of fluid in the lungs, is produced. A warning comes up if safe levels are exceeded. It can be used to test for standard pneumonia and lung cancer. Developers believe it can also serve as a new preliminary screening for COVID-19. Our current screening methods are all nucleic acid tests. It's not possible to be sure if the virus has entered the lungs. We can compare our data to an X-ray and see whether the lungs have a frosted glass pattern typical of COVID-19. The portable device was assembled at NTU College of Medicine's Institute of Medical Device and Imaging. Variations in electromagnetic frequency are used to swiftly assess the health of a patient's chest. Developers say the brief test can indicate if there's excess fluid in the lungs, even if no COVID-19 symptoms are presenting. Further tests then provide more precise diagnoses. As a non-invasive device that consumes negligible resources, one piece costs just 750 NT to produce, allowing mass distribution. It's fast. It can test both lungs in just 30 seconds, showing if there are pulmonary infiltrates or pulmonary edema. Another thing is it can be administered indiscriminately as a widespread instant screening for everybody. This development follows on the heels of a 15-minute screening for COVID-19 reagents that's under development at the Academia Sinica.